we are facing a lot of challenges from some groups, especially the Muslim Brotherhood, founded in, in Egypt, called Al Ikhwan al Muslimun. When they came, when they started this group, their logo was Islam is the solution. Because at that time, the law, the system of administration in Egypt was imperialism. Where some places, the, the military administration. So they came with an Islam, Islam is the solution. Islam is the solution. Islam is the solution. But by the time when some countries are embracing or they embrace democracy, then they, they change their logo to what? Democracy is the solution. So why will, a, why will an Islamic group campaigning for democracy or see democracy as the Islamic system to rule? We will see Islam support democracy. Ow! Now my question is, how does Islam view democracy as a system of government? What does Islam take on democracy itself? Subhanallah. This is a good question, but... Uh, if not because of the the mixed up that we have in the society, in the world at large, I don't think the, the the question is necessary. Why? Because everybody knows that Islam is different from democracy. Democracy is different from Islam. People have been practicing Islam before democracy. Even in Nigeria, yeah, yes, Nigerian democracy. I'm older than the Nigerian democracy. I I know. I have been in Islam before, Islam, before the democracy came to Nigeria. Abi? Hey. <laughs> so that means Islam and democracy are not the same. They are not the same. Then, by the definition, when you look at the word democracy, so conventionally, it is agreed that democracy is a government designed by the people for the people. People will design the way and manner that they want to rule themselves. How will they control their societies? How do they control their banking system, their economic platform, their social norms? So people will determine that. Yes, even to the level of uh, the aspect of administration, the aspect of religion, people will determine the kind how will they relate with the religion? How many percentages will they take from religion? Yes. So, by the definition, democracy and Islam is not the same. What is Islam? Islam is the submission to the oneness of Allah. Islam is the uh, readiness to accept the laws of Allah. Laws. When we say laws of Allah, the laws of worship of Allah, the laws of economy, the laws of uh, values in the societies, the laws of uh, the criminal laws, everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us as law, to accept it in totality, and also to wage war, verbal war, uh, physical war against the politizing, against disbelief, against anything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala front at. So why is it the same? So by that, we can see that democracy accommodates all religions. Then Islam does not. That's one. Then two, democracy accommodates all vices. All vices. So far the people agree that those vices, those social vices, have become norms in the society, have been accepted. Not, no problem. No problem. So when you practice democracy, what Allah has placed as lawful may become unlawful. So far that is the the way of the people. Yes. And you cannot go in Islam like that. A Muslim is someone that is subservient for the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is under the control of Allah. So in, in the democracy, it's not like that. We will sit together to, to, to choose who will come together, who will be our delegate. Then, who, what, is, what do you have in mind? How do we rule? How do we do this? How do we do that? So the democracy uh, give, gives room for every thought whether good or bad yes whether wanted or unwanted whether useful or unuseful Demo democracy places 
the the thoughts on the same level with the good people in the society. Democracy places the righteous men and the unrighteous men on the same platform. So there is no any uh, no any preference for the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in democracy. Yes. Anywhere in the world where democracy is being practiced as the system of administration, this is the, what that is what we know. And that is why when you look at it, that before the advent of democracy in Nigeria, at least, yes, we may say that there is a bit corruption in Nigeria, but not to the level of social norms, social vices. People still maintain their social values. Yes, the what we call uh, modesty. Modesty is still there. Yes, people are not like animals. But immediately when the when democracy entered, hardly you see difference between the the animal kingdom and the human kingdom. People are just like animals. Just are animals. And you, if you are trying to be a, a perfect human being. They will look at you as a strange person. Yes, you are strange. You are strange. Because you don't support the norms of the people. Look at the way of drinking of alcohol. It's so rampant. Yes. In this Lagos state, you are not told. Hardly you see people even smoking. Smoking on the street. And people will go to the bar, to the restaurant to take alcohol. I don't think there's any restaurant anymore. There's no any bar anymore. Lagos, I live in, we were born in Lagos Island here. But now it's everywhere. It's everywhere. In fact, uh, it, has, it has become rampant. Igbo is common. It's, it's a norm. Afa, don't smoke. Are you sure? <laughs> Afa, you don't play Baba Jebu. Are you sure? Because that is the norm of the people. And nobody will punish anybody for doing anything against, against that. Or for doing anything in, uh, in line with that. Nobody. So that is democracy. So democracy and Islam is not the same. Yes. Democracy does not give room for prophethood, does not give room for messengership, does not, democracy does not recognize godliness. Do you get it now? It is manliness. What people agree to, that is democracy. In the life, you worship, you start, okay, if your child is precious to attend madrasa, to attend madrasa, will you complain? Who will you complain to? Will, will you complain in the Will, will you charge your child uh, to court for not attending madrasa? Is that which one? Uh, go and meet your imam. Uh, you don't have imam. Go and meet the imam. Or will you complain in the in the, in the police station? Will you lodge any complaint that my children refuse to go for Arabic to do tafis? No. All these they are not there. They are not there in democracy. So democracy. Not that we are condemning the government, but this is a question. On what we call democracy and Islam, we know in Nigeria we practice democracy, yes, and that is the, the system of the government that we are practicing, and there's nothing we can do. As Muslims, do we join them? No, we don't join them. Well, there's no way, there's no way you will join them that your Islam will not be affected, and that is why when the scholars are met, the Al-Sunnah scholars are met as regards the participation in in the system of government. In the system of government, especially where democracy is being the the system, the scholars divided into two. Some said, "Don't join them. Don't participate at all." Why? Because there are many verses in the Quran where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala enjoins on us to rule with anything except His law. In fact, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala charges those who rule without the law of Allah. Amal lam yakum azal Allah fawlaika umul fasikun fawlaika umul kafirun fawlaika umul zalimun. Three epithets on them. Not gender because democracy is is alien to the Islamic teachings. Why we have some scholars that they will say you can join them because if you agree that democracy is evil and we know that we approach we approach evil or we try to make a reduction of that evil. So in that sense, so you can join them with three conditions. One, you join them for the purpose of Islam. Two, you join them for the benefit of Muslims. 
Three, you join them to seek. We join them, and your joining, your participation should not affect your iman. Your iman must not reduce at all. Is it possible to to achieve these three conditions? Uh, this is where the scholars of Sunnah are stand now. Alhamdulillah, salat was salam ala Rasulullah. So, on the question on the democracy and Islam, Islam is not democracy. Democracy is not Islam. But we we are facing a lot of challenges from some groups, especially the Muslim Brotherhood, founded in in Egypt, called Al Ikhwan al Muslimun. When they came, when they started this group, their logo was Islam is the solution. Because at that time, the law, the system of administration in Egypt was imperialism. Where some places, the, the military administration. So they came with an Islam, Islam is the solution. Islam is the solution. Islam is the solution. But by the time when some countries are embracing or they embrace democracy, then they, they change their logo to what? Democracy is the solution. So why will, a, why will an Islamic group campaigning for democracy or see democracy as the Islamic system to rule? They will say Islam support democracy. How? <laughs> How? How? If Islam has supported democracy, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will have used democracy in the whether in Mecca or in Medina or during the time of any one of the companions, the Khulafa. So they are the one, they, they are now using that, that no, Muslims should join, Muslims should participate. Let's participate because of Islam. But Alhamdulillah, we've seen many of them that they went there. When they got there, they throw Islam outside. They join them, they join the wagon. So it is, we should not deceive ourselves. So if one want to go into politics, go with your own self conviction with your own self-benefit. Don't say because of Islam. Islam does not send you there. Islam does not send you there. Islam will never send you where your iman will reduce. Your Islam will, will, eh, will become something else. Eh, Afa will now be campaigning for who is not a, a Muslim. And I've seen Islam, in the Islam. Which Islam is that one? You will be there as Muslim. You will not, you will not say, okay, uh, I'm fighting for Muslims. No, you fight for everybody. For everybody, it's nationalism. So democracy and nationalism they are the same thing. So in a nutshell, democracy has nothing to do with Islam, as Islam has nothing to do with democracy. Yes, we are not saying that those who are there, they are kufar, they are out of Islam. We are not saying that. Yes, and some people may be there also. They are even out of Islam. It depends on the level that some people place it also place democracies in their heart. If one believes that democracy is better than the law of Allah than Islam, than Muhammad, than Al-Quran, than Sunnah, then what's the essence of you being a Muslim? He's not a Muslim. Fawlaika umli kafirun. But if someone believes that, yes, the law of Allah supersedes democracy, but this is the law of the society, this is the system of the society, so let's join them. At least we use democracy to reduce the evil. We still believe that, that Islam is better than democracy. Whoever that believes that, yes, is a Muslim, but he has wronged himself because of certain actions that the person will do which are not in contrast with the Quran and with the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So that is it.